dissertation. Um, President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni has emphasized total cooperation among religious leaders and politicians on issues of promoting sanitation and hygiene. <laughs> He says that the leaders have a mandate to champion good hygiene and sanitation in their communities where they come from. The Excellency, the President pointed out the importance of security. You cannot be healthy if you are not secure and peaceful. Actually, my Lord, some of the health problems and challenges are inherited on they are outcomes of insecurity, especially in the homes. A home characterized by domestic violence, fights, hatred, psychological torture will result in a population which is unhealthy. Therefore, we must make sure that we protect ourselves. And the president assures this country, government will protect the citizens of this country. Mount St. Mary's Hospital, which is under the Diocese of Kasese, was established in 2020 after heavy flood swept away Chilembe Mines Hospital, leaving no chance to people who used to get medication from the facility. The president also urged religious leaders to facilitate in stopping the vice of charcoal burning and promoting protection of the environment. As I pointed out, the relationship between health and environment. Colleagues, you see what the heavy rains are doing. And after the heavy rains, we'll have heavy sunshine. So we must take forward and serious and critical. The directive of His Excellency the President to stop charcoal burning and the call on the church to lead this, this fight. The fight to protect our environment, not just for ourselves, but for the future generations. It is a planet we inherit for those who will come after us. State Minister for ICT and National Guidance, Godfrey Kabianga, requested Ugandans to develop a heart of sacrifice, especially when people are in need. We have clapped for the Germans because they have sacrificed their money to come and assist us. Let us also start sacrificing our money to assist ourselves. We should also learn to give even the little we have. Some of these people collect only $10 per month to make this happen. But some of us who can even give $10, you don't want to give it. You would rather spend it in watching football, uh, betting in the football. And every time you bet, you lose. The Bishop of Kasese Diocese, Right Reverend Francis Aquinas Chibira, requested government to put in a hand so that the hospital can be turned into a referral hospital. One old woman came to my office and told me, Bishop, was Shinja Elkihimbira referral. This must be stored if the government cooperates well with that. It should be turned into a referral hospital. It should be turned into a referral hospital. And Dr. Samuel Raj, you have seen everything. We just need good, modern, contemporary equipment and good human resource to turn this into a referral hospital. Why should our people die all the way between here and Ibarana? Why? Are we going to get milk from Ibarana that we can't produce here? <laughs> The function was attended by the Presidential Advisor on Renzoli Affairs, Christine Mohindo, Assistant Presidential Advisor in Charge of Western Region, retired Bishop Nzibed de Masereka, Kasese Leaders Forum Chairperson, Mr. Bamsed de Banabas, Bwambale, among others, Muthabali Moses and Benon Mokwaya, UBC.